So, and welcome back to the Cymru Nerd Cave for uh, Advent Calendar Apocalypse Day 11. There we are, two weeks time. In two weeks time it will be Christmas Day and I won't have to do this anymore. But uh, there you go. Uh, we are however on, like I say, Day 11. So let's have a look at the nativity. Let's see what we've got here. So, dot number 11 is Tiny Little Lamb because well, it's part of the Christian mythology I guess. Um, so let's open this up. And well, yeah, we're, we're definitely going less secular here because it's a little choir boy in front of a window singing a hymn or a carol. I guess it would be a Christmas carol. He seems to be levitating off the floor. So that's quite a feat. Um, yeah, I'd be interested to know if there's a backstory to that. Probably not, but uh, you never know. On to something a little bit more secular and the Haynes uh, Christmas Advent Calendar. Um, door number 11 is here, just in the rainbow spectrum -y bit. Yeah, I mean, it's like spectrum, isn't it? Oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> it totally is. I'm surprised Amstrad aren't uh, suing, but there you go. We have, that's the only thing, we have a yet another resistor. I don't know which one this is, but it is a resistor, so we will see in a second how that uh, pertains to everything else. And moving on, door number 11, uh, is that 11? That is 11. It's just the edge of Robin's cape. So we're not quite harming Robin yet, which is good because he always usually gets uh, beaten up or killed or hurt. And oh, there we go. It's another one of the big seven. It's Arthur Curry. It's Aquaman. Not the Jason Momoa version. And like Wonder Woman, he's not in a cityscape because he's more I won't say he's a cosmic one but he's more one of the sort of godlike um heroes I guess he doesn't well he doesn't live in a city either does he he lives under the sea as it were uh, but yes very nice liking it so we, it's definitely taking shape we're getting the biggies out of the way now I am guessing Superman's last I'm making that prediction now I think he might be last because the reason I say this is because the day 25th I was working this out uh, or the 24th should I say 24th is down there right at the bottom next to Lex Luthor so um, dark side Lex Luthor Superman I think I think we'll see we'll see uh, right let's play around with the resistor in the breadboard I shall be back in but a moment bye for now and we're back thanks for waiting right so it's a bit of an interesting one today. So the resistor goes down there. And what you basically do, you are making a basic lie detector. So you've got the two coils of wire here. You've got the battery pack here. Let me just turn the battery pack on. Um, and basically, oh, if I remember correctly. There we go. Pop the wire back in. The speaker wire come out. You can hear the tone. You're supposed to put your fingers in the coils. And then you get someone to ask you increasingly uncomfortable questions. And the more you sort of sweat, the more you get a bit nervous, then the tone's supposed to go up. Obviously, I can't do this uh, because I'm on my own and I know what questions I'm going to ask. But um, let me just turn that off. There we go. That's done. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Basic lie detector test. If you've got two of you, then you are able to do that. It's a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, like I say, won't be trying that today. But uh, there you go. That's it for today. I shall be back tomorrow, which is Saturday and day number 12. Um, but until next time, please do take care of yourselves and each other. Do wear your masks. Don't drink the bleach. Not long to go. Bye bye for now.